Hey guys, welcome to a GS Pro tutorial for the Mad Hitter Golf Lounge in Milton, located at 300 Market Drive. This tutorial is for anybody new to the facility that hasn't used the GS Pro software yet, and a little tutorial for those new members of our Winter League and upcoming leagues in the future. I'm going to walk through a quick three holes at uh, Phillips Park, which is going to be your Q school round, and show you how to use some of the functions on GS Pro so you can navigate your way around um, during gameplay. Now, if you notice on the right side here of the screen, there is um, a little chart with a bunch of numbers. Now, that is a reference for your putting speed. So I will get to that once we get to the putting portion of it. Um, for now, let's uh, let's have a little rundown of how this is gonna work, okay? So um, let me type in Phillips Park here. Currently GS Pro has approximately 350 courses um, in their portfolio with more coming every week. Uh, so it's quite overwhelming. Um, and if there's a course that you like to play, uh, you let Carl know and he's the owner and uh, he'll set you up if it's, uh, if it's on there. Okay, so uh, this is myself, uh, Frankie Colmadina. Uh, I'm just gonna play a single round here, but if you do wanna add other people into your round, or if you want to add somebody from another league member, uh, you can just go ahead and add their name here, okay? So if they're already in there, you can go ahead and add them. Uh, I'll uh, add Kyler, let's say, for instance, okay? Um, now, this here says match setting tees. What this is gonna do is put everybody on the same tee. So if you go into match settings, it'll be, you can either choose stroke play, scramble, match play, alternate shot, best ball, stable forward. Okay. So if we were to play stroke play, I would just leave it as is. But if I were to play, let's say, um, let's say a scramble. Okay. Let's add a couple more players in there. Okay. If you're going to set a scramble, you got to make sure you change these to the same color, okay? So that they know that these two are the same, same team and these two guys are the same team. But uh, for now, let's just remove them. Uh, also, you have to set it to scramble, okay? But I'm just gonna remove everybody for now uh, because I just wanted to show you um, some of the functions of the game. So I'm gonna play stroke. And I'm just gonna play whichever black spine thursday this is uh the gimme circle and i believe in in league play it's going to be six feet so i'll put that at six feet stint meter is how fast the green is and that is actually we're going to use the chart on the right side there to actually calculate um how fast you are going to be putting it uh putting you can choose normal hard easy but for league play these are all going to be set so you can't really adjust anything uh, except for putt assist. And putt assist right here, uh, there's two ways of putting. And you could um, either aim with the mouse and putt straight, or you can use the putter and just putt left or right according to the break. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this for now. Uh, if you want to play with some friends and you want to play like all of these holes, you go ahead uh if you want to choose the back nine you just choose that so i'm going to choose let's say a par four a par three and a par five just to show you guys okay we'll start with uh let's see here uh i'll just do a easy par three maybe a, a par four here and let's end off with par five on the 18th okay so we're going to play three holes just uh, to give you an idea of how to how to navigate through the uh, software. Okay. 
Okay, just loading up now. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, at the Mad Hitter, there are two different launch monitors available. One is the Whiz Eye. And usually with the Whiz Eye, you'll notice where the ball is right now. Uh, if you place the ball in the hitting area, it will save ready and it will beep as well. With the other launch monitors, there's five Unicor IXOs. And once you place the ball in the hitting area, it'll also beep. And that tells you that it, the launch monitor recognizes the ball and it's ready to be hit. Okay. So looking at the screen here, let's start on the top left. That's my name. My score currently is even. I'm on shot number one. I got 159.8 yards to go and it's seven feet, five inches down from where I'm currently am right now. The wind is in the middle. There's no, no wind right now. Okay. Uh, on the top right is tells you what hole you're on. So I'm on hole number two. It's a par three, 160 yards. Now there's ball data on the right there, which you'll see once I hit the ball, you'll see actually the ball's data recorded. So it really helps with those people that want to improve their game and they really want to get their spin numbers up or or all that launch angle, all the kind of stuff. That. You can you can customize those to up to 12 different parameters. So you can choose those at, at the club. Um, on the bottom left, you'll see the club. It'll say uh, eight iron is what they're suggesting. I'm a right-handed player, so it's, it's on the right. And the map on the bottom right side there is very important, okay? So this is where you can, can, can see kind of what the hole looks like from an aerial view. You can also take your mouse or in or touch the screen here because at the Mad Hitter they do have touch screens. You can touch to see exactly where you want to hit to. See if I want to hit right to the pin, it's 158. If you can kind of click and drag or just touch wherever to hit the green here, you need to go 102 and this down 10 feet. Here's the water. You don't want to hit it there. Okay. So I'm just going to hit. A nice easy shot into the middle of the green see what happens now these numbers here i'll explain those in a minute um, once we get to a different lie but that's your lie angle right there these two arrows here you can you can move in the t box so let's say you want there's a tree that you kind of maybe is in the way and you kind of want to avoid it you can kind of go to the right or the left of the t box okay so you can adjust that but for now, let's just hit uh, let's just hit a nice eight iron into there and see what happens. Okay, so um, I hit it. Uh, carried one hundred thirty-eight. Uh, didn't hit it very well. Uh, so it fell short, but, but I am actually glad I did because I wanted to show you, uh, in the video game, what this actually, uh, is represented right now. So you're in the sand. So, um, if you look on the bottom right of the screen, it shows 12.4 up and that's your lie angle. So you're 12.4 on an incline, okay? So that's gonna affect your ball flight. And 0.4 tilted to the left, so barely even a degree. So that won't really affect anything. You can see here that's 16 yards to the hole and 3.8 upwards. The green is sloping upwards, 3.8 feet. Okay, so that's uh, pretty, it's pretty up there. Oh, well, the hole is 3.8 eight feet up from where you are right now. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a, a flop shot and uh, let's see where this heads and we'll get, get into the putting aspect. Okay. So I hit that one. Um, in real life, it would have carried 25.9 as it says on the data on the right, but 
because GS Pro calculates how much spin and power loss um, you're going to have being in the sand. Obviously, you can't simulate that in a simulator, so it kind of takes that into account. So if you look on the left side, it says last shot, 76 spins, 76 speed. So 76% spin, I believe, you know, that's how much spin you put on the ball. So I believe you're like, you've lost 24% of the spin, right? You can't, it's it's not perfect, but you can't uh, exactly simulate the lie of the sand. So it kind of is just an estimate. So right now we are going to putt it and we are eight feet, one inch away from the hole. As no, as stated in the, in the settings, the stint meter for this round is a 10. So that's how fast your, your ball will be, well, that's how fast the greens are. So if you look at your chart, um, go to number 10 on the stint meter at the top there, and you, you roll, you scroll down to eight feet. There's no eight feet there, but there's 7.2 and there's 10. And if you move to the left, you'll see 3.41 and 4.09. That's the speed you have to hit it to get it to that distance. So now that we're eight feet, let's just call it eight feet. Let's go 7.2 on the 10 stint meter there. It tells me to hit 3.41. Since I want to hit it a little bit more than 7.2, let's hit it for 3.5 or 3.6 speed. Now this is something that you're going to have to get used to on uh, on GS Pro and Simulator Golf. But this chart has actually helped me in real life as well. Help me to control my weight and speed. Uh, so I'm going to swing it 3.5 miles per hour based on this speed, based on the, the length of the putt. And do you see the arrows, how they're all, or sorry, not the arrows, these ball things that are moving to the right, that means the slopes to the right. And the faster the ball moves, the faster the, the break is. Okay, and you can see these arrows here going down. So it's going down just ever so slightly, even though it says zero, it is sloping down a little bit, right? So you can either aim with a mouse or aim it manually with your putter. I'm gonna aim it with a mouse and I'm gonna aim it somewhere around here. Okay, now I'm gonna hit 3.5 miles per hour. And how do you know how much you're gonna hit 3.5 miles per hour? Well, if you just hit a shot, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. Now look on the right side there, the ball data. If you if you look down at ball speed, it says 3.1, which means I needed to hit it probably around 3.5. That's why it fell short, and that's why it didn't make it to the hole, okay? You're gonna get used to putting speed as you go, but this chart is definitely key for um, explaining how to putt it properly on a simulator. Okay, moving to hole number, well, hole number 13, second hole that I'm gonna play. It is a par four. Um, if you look at the map, this white line is, is out of bounds. So if you hit it to the left onto the road, you're out of bounds. The water here, you can see the red, that is, that is trouble. And that is also gonna be out of bounds, okay? So you can grip it and rip it. And if you want, or you can just kind of hit it into a safety area right here. This on the, if you click on anywhere on the map, use anywhere you can hit. Okay. So I'm going to hit it just dead smack into the middle of the fairway there. I'll just take a, a four iron and just get it out there. I might not even hit it well, so let's try it out. Also, you can note, you'll notice when it, it says the yardage is 351 and six yards down. Okay. So it is playing longer than 351 since it's six yards down. But let's just hit a hit a four iron right now. Uh, on the bottom left, it says driver, DR, right? It's not a driver, but it records ball data, so it shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to hit a four iron, get it out there. Okay, not a very good shot either. 
hundred. All right, not bad. 188 was my four iron was the total carry distance there. Okay, so I'm 163 out now. Now, I want you to pay attention to the number under 163. That's seven feet, eight inches. Let's just round that up to eight. And the reason why I say that is because that tells you how many, how many yards it is to the hole. So if you round it up to eight, Typically, to convert the distance, you take, let's say, eight feet, and you take a third of eight feet, which is roughly two and a half. Okay, let's just say. So you would add two and a half to 163. So you would be at 165 and a half to the pin. Okay. Now, that's only seven seven feet up and for going down you would take seven feet or eight feet cut that in half and that would be four for downhill so you take 50 percent of the of the feet there so eight divided by two is four and you would minus that from 163 so you'd be hitting to 159 and that's to the center of the pin not including roll of the ball or whatnot okay so that kind of gives you an idea of what club to hit because right now it's only seven feet. Sometimes it's, you're talking like, you know, 10 yards. And if it's 10 yards uphill, you'd have to convert yards to feet. So multiply that by three. So you're at 30 feet. Then you would take a third of 10 out of 30, which is 10. Then So you would add 10 yards to your total, to your total, um, distance. So let's say if it was 163, it would be 173. So it would be a club up. Now, if you're going down, let's say if down 10 yards, you do 10 times three, which is 30, half of that is 15, you would minus 15 from your total distance. So if you're minusing 15 from this, you'd be looking at 148, which would be a club or two down for a lot of people. Okay, so that's that's when elevation is really important. So you need to pay attention to that to that number. Okay, so we're at 163. So let's just hit another eight iron here. Okay, so I'm short of the green. Didn't hit that very well either, but it doesn't matter. Um, now, I want you to pay attention now to the map on the right side. The map says two degrees up, so it's going incline a little bit, and two degree, 0.2 degrees to the left, so it's fairly flat. Okay, so some of the, key, the, some of the features on this software, now I wanna to explain to you. So if you have a keyboard and wanna do this, if you hit Y, That'll show you the elevation of the green. So the red parts are the higher parts and the blue parts are the lower parts. So it kind of slopes down towards us, flat on the yellow parts, and it kind of slopes down to the left at the pin there. So you kind of want to keep it to the right, I guess you can say. You can turn that off by hitting Y again. You can also hit J to tell you what your shot's going to look like. Okay. This is helpful from not just a, a shots around the green, but shots around the fairway as well, okay? <clears throat> okay, so G is to turn the grid on and off, but I always leave it on so you can see, see the green there. So let's just hit a chip shot and try to roll it up on there. Now you can aim manually you can hit the ball to the left or right uh, to adjust it, or you can aim with touching anywhere in the map and just hitting it straight. Okay, right now I'm just going to hit it straight, so I'm not going to bother aiming anywhere. Okay, there's the six foot gimme circle. All right, so it's a par. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, 
uh, I am going to hit it. I'm going to blow it to the right purposely. And I want to show you what a sim drop looks like. Okay. Okay. So let's say you take your driver and you really hit it really bad. You shanked it, hit it off the toe, whatever, and you end up here. Oopsie, kind of wrong way, wrong fairway, wrong everything. That right now is considered playable, but I wanted to show you how to do a sim drop. Because let's say, for instance, there is a house in front here which you can't get over, or it's hugging a rock, or it's uh, just in deep bush, and it's just going to be impossible to get out because every time you try to hit the ball, it'll ricochet off a branch, a tree, and then you end up trying three times and you're still in the same spot. Well, save yourself some strokes. Go up to the top right corner. Where are we here? Top right corner. Where's my mouse? Top right corner and go to shot options and hit sim drop. That's going to show you the map here on the areas that you can drop. Currently, I'm over here, but you can drop anywhere outside of this circle. Okay. So let's put us back on the fairway to save us some strokes because there are some courses on this software that are literally impossible to get out of. So do yourself a favor, give yourself a sim drop, you drop it there, hit accept, and boom, you're on the fairway. Okay, so um, next shot, I want to hit it. Uh, let's say I want to get to about 220 yards, somewhere around there. Okay. If I hit J again, it'll kind of show me where I'm hitting to. Okay. O, if you press O, is a fly over the hole. I think I may have shown you that already, maybe, or not, but that kind of gives you the layout of the hole in case you're not familiar with which way it goes or this way you can kind of see where your hazards and dangers are, okay? Press O, it'll get you back. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hit 220. All right, pretty close, 219. Okay, so now I'm 119 out. Always pay attention to your lie angle because it will affect your shot. It's uh, 2.9 degrees down, but fairly straight, fairly flat. So, and it's also uphill, seven feet, one inch from your ball right now. So I'm gonna grab a wedge, just try to get it in there. Mm. Yes, okay. So uh, if you so happen to hit it in the water, check out the map on the right side. If you hit it in the water, it will give you some shot options. You know what, let's do that now. Okay, so you're aiming for the pin and you absolutely shanked it. Okay, let's try that shank again. Sixty yards to the water. Okay. And you shanked it. Damn it. No. Into the water. Okay. You have options. Okay. Option one, you can drop it where it is. If you hit it with this option here. Sometimes it pulls you back a bit and you might have a better lie. Hit option again, 
you could re-hit it. Okay, so let's go through that again. That's option one of the options. Option two is over here, but just see, notice here on the right side, one degree down and one degree to the right. You hit the options again. Suddenly it's two degrees down and 0.6 to the right. So it could change. Okay, so let's say you shanked it so badly and this lie is even worse. Hit options, you could hit it again. And then hit this, re-hit, and we're back to where we were. Okay. So 104 out. Didn't make it, so we are 18. Okay, I'm in the fairway, it's 5.8 degrees up. And I'm gonna miss it on purpose so I can show you another putting example. So instead of, right now it's aiming right for the flag. I can aim with a mouse, or I can just aim way left of the screen and hit it left of the screen and boom, it'll go left, okay? Okay, this is 27.4 plus, it's going up five, so you need to add five, so let's say 32. If you grab your chart on the right side, go under 10 stamp, and you go down to 32 or something close. The closest is a 31.4. You move over to the left and it says 8.18. I need to get it to 30, 32, so maybe eight and a half should do the trick. Now I'm gonna aim quite significantly to the left here because of the break. See how it breaks a lot here? It tells you it breaks pretty fast here and slows down at the top. And you can see these dots going down, so you can tell it's definitely uphill. So it might even go a little bit more. So eight and a half speed. Let's try to get it in the hole. Not quite, but give me range. So there's my score. Okay, bogey par and a, hey, let's call that a double par on the last one. Okay, so that's uh, your tutorial. For most of the holes on JS Pro, that's kind of how the game function will work. Okay, so let's get out of here. You will have statistics too, if you ever want. You can see kind of like how many fairways you hit, how many bogeys, your longest drive, all kind of stuff. So it's available for you. Now, if you're not gonna play around, let's say you're not part of the league or you just don't feel like playing around and you just, you just wanna come in uh, you know, to practice your game, you can either practice around on your own. The tournament section is for you know, the mad hitter league players. And when you pull up your name here and you scroll down, the tournament will be available for you there. But if you just wanna practice you can hit this button right here, or this section, and this is the driving range. I'll show you the driving range really quickly. And the driving range is a virtual driving range, obviously, but you can adjust the distance to the pin to the green. Uh, you can hit driver, you can hit the wedge. It's a nice part about this. Uh, unlike a real golf course where you just have a number over there, this one you can adjust because there is a green. Okay, we'll just wait for it to pull up here. Okay, so on the left here, you can scroll down and let's bring that to, heck, let's bring that right to, right to 33, okay? You wanna practice your short game? Sure, bring it to 33, grab your wedge, Hit a ball, get it in there, okay. Let's try that again. 
that didn't work. Okay. And so on. Okay, you want to do it from a different range, grab the slider. Bring it up to 186. Grab your 186 glove. Wait for the beep. I don't have a beep on mine, but uh, wait for the beep from the launch monitor and off you go. Okay. You want to take a driver? Well, then pull that back and bombs away. Let's say 290. Heck, if you're a long hitter, you can set that to 350 if you want to. Okay. Take your ball, please. Wait for the beep. Let me show you something else too in this. You can actually do the round settings here. Practice settings, you can do the shot tracer. And let's say you do four shots. Okay, I'll do four shots off the driver so you can see. Okay, there's one. Now that shot tracer will stay there to four shots. So you can kind of see your patterns. And that one was a beautiful stinger, I'd like to call it. Okay, see how there's two different patterns? And you can even, I believe you can choose the color too. Okay, let's just try to get one out there for real. Well, not bad. Fourth one's a charm. Okay. There we go. Wish I could do that all the time. Okay, so that's your practice facility. To get out of there, just press that and the round. Now, you want it to still practice. There's something else that's pretty cool. Your on course practice here, you can basically go to any hole at any part of the course and just practice the same shot over and over and over. Once you hit the ball, it'll go back to the same spot. And if you want to move forward, you just take the ball and drag it anywhere on the course and you can hit from there. So if you have a favorite course to play that you want to practice over and over, you can, you can do that just because the driving range is flat. If you want to practice your different lie angles or hitting out of the sand, go to our course practice, plug your ball in the sand and bombs away. Just keep hitting. The skills test, well, this is pretty interesting too. This goes through your full bag and gives you different ranges, uh, 60 yards, 80 yards, 100, 120, 40, 60, I don't know, something like that, um, up to driver. And it gives you 60 shots. There we go, full bag. Okay. And it'll give you 60 shots to do. Okay, right now, first it's uh, 60, 60 yards. So let me hit three. Three shots. You have three shots of 60, then three shots of 80, and I think it cycles through most of your club, and then it goes back to 60. But let's just hit three of these. Okay, and it gives you points. Okay, so it gives you a score of 752. So the closer you are to the pin, 
more points you get, right? So if you are with some friends and you want a little competition, see how many points, you can go go ahead and, and select this competition. You can add some players to that, I believe, or just do it individually and, and grab your score. And then the loser buys beers. All right. Next shot, 80 yards. Okay. You can change your club. You can keep the same club. You can have a competition, one club only for all these distances. Entirely up to you. Okay. So, anyways, that's uh, just an example. Okay. I'm just going to exit out of here. Settings, abort test. Exit. Okay, so that was a quick rundown of uh, how to run GS Pro if you've never used it and uh, some tips to make your round a little bit more enjoyable at the Mad Hitter. The fall league has already finished, but the winter league for 2023 starts on January 13th uh, with your Q school round. Uh, and that is, um, will be played at Phillips Park and that will determine your handicap, just the one round. And then the first week starts January 16th and that will commence for one week. We have 10 rounds to play. We're following mostly of the PGA tour schedule, uh, but Sunday night, nine o'clock, the week round closes and you will see who is on the top at that point. And it will be like the FedEx Cup style. So you will see uh, 500 points for the winner and you know points for the second, third place and so on and so on. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Carl. He is always available. Um, his uh, contact, you can you can find him, uh, let's see here, I can grab the contact for you here. The Mad Hitter. Okay. Well, let's see here. If you go to the madhitter.ca, you'll be able to find uh, you'll be able to find all that information, including Carl's uh, phone number, um, or you can hit up on uh, Messenger, or you can actually just uh, go on to uh, madhitter.ca for more information. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck on the Winter League, and hope to see you out there. And good luck. There's going to be lots of prizes to be won. I believe, uh, I can't tell you what they are exactly, but I believe they're some t awesome tailor-made products. So uh, let's uh, hit them straight and uh, have a good, have a good round. Take care.